What's up guys? This is Tampa Tech and this is my son Devin. He has this broken 3DS XL we're going to try to fix. It has no power so we're going to work together. I'm going to teach him something and hopefully he retains that knowledge. He takes over my channel and then I can retire in the Caribbean. Right? Is that the plan? Oh, my all right, let's get started. First, let's go ahead and see what's going on with this thing. We already saw. I know, but they didn't see. Yes, they did. So we're going to plug in the power right here. Boom. And then let's try to turn on. They saw the video title. Turn on the switch. Uh, so you have orange light right here. And then it doesn't turn on. All right, so we're gonna have to take out all these screws right here. This one's broken. That's one right into. How, how did this break? Why don't you turn off your solder iron? All right. So anyway, um, this thing was broken. We probably have to replace the shell. But let's go ahead and uh, get started. Use the tools, the plastic one. Okay, no. Use plastic tools. Is that the original battery? We also yeah. have, we replaced the battery too, but... No, it didn't, did we? Yeah, it's not the battery. Mm. We'll take the battery out. The power button. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna turn on. I mean, let's try it with a different battery in it and see if it works. I mean, I don't think it's gonna work. No, this is... The Nintendo battery, it says Nintendo. This is the new battery. This right here. No. Definitely not the battery, but we replaced the battery anyway. So, it's supposed to be a longer, better battery. Yeah, this is 1750 milliamp hours, and this one is. Yeah, 2,000 milliamp hours. Real professional over here. Like they're all labeled. So you're going to put it on one. Two. Three. Four. You put in 29. Are you what? a rookie? I knew it. Spelunger. I knew that, I was right. Splunger. Yeah, this is called a splunger, a plastic pry tool. Uh huh. Didn't forget about these suckers. Oh, yeah, sneaky, sneaky. You're the um, apprentice. Get roasted. Turn it off. I don't know if people hear that. Yeah, well, I don't want to smell the green and stinky solder and turn it off. Remember how you took everything apart. What is this? The buttons? Ohio. Where does that go? Right there. Unplug a couple things and see if the unit turns on. So let's go ahead and do that. Is the Wi-Fi card right here. So let's go ahead and put this back so you guys can see also. All right, so this is the Wi-Fi card. Let's unplug that. And then let's go ahead and unplug this one as well, the IR sensor, I believe. Yeah, you can see the IR sensors. And then this one is for the camera. So let's unplug the camera because we need those controls to work. Used a plastic pry tool called a splunger zero insertion force. Oh, it's this way. There we go. I'm going to use a plastic tweezers just in case. This, I believe, is for the LCD screen, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. 
I'm just gonna see if it turns on now. Set up the battery, make sure it goes in. Yeah, it goes in this way. There we go. I'm trying to hold it together. Orange light is on. Let's see if it turns on. The button feels like it works. Oh, look. It does turn on. Oh, I don't see any screen, though. Maybe I unplugged the screen. We didn't get that before. I wonder if one of those parts were defective. So now we have a blue and orange light, but no screen. All right, so let's go ahead and unplug the power cord. So it doesn't turn on unless you have a battery plugged in. Let's figure this out. I wonder why the screen is not turning on. Let's see if it works with the, have the Wi-Fi card plugged in. Okay, now I have that plugged in. Let's see if it turns on. All right, here we go. See, I get power. I have a blue and orange light. All right, why aren't we getting a screen though? I don't have audio either. Oh wait, what the heck? Dude. You fixed it. What'd you do? I don't know, it's um something. Alright, so it is working. Let's see if this works. So let's go ahead and um, remove this battery once again. And then let's go flip it over. You gonna put everything back because it works? And now let's see. I think you gotta lose connection. Maybe that's it. All right, let's put this back and see if it works. Now I was following Kyle Awesome's tutorial, which is pretty good, and he did mention to do all this stuff. So I'll give him some credit. There we go. So we got this plugged in and this plugged in. Next, let's go ahead and plug in the battery once again. Devin, pay attention. I'm paying a lot of attention. My phone broke. Pay all the attention. Let's go ahead and plug this in once again. We might not have to, yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to have to replace these ICs. I'll hold on to them just in case. Okay, press the power button. Press the power button. Press the power button. You are holding it good enough. Mm -hmm. All right, it's my fault. Yeah, sure. All right, so. So the cable I unplugged is, I believe, the camera, which, Devin, do you even use the camera or no? All the time. All right, so let's go ahead and replace the camera then, I have to take since he said that. I have to take sexy mirror pics. All right, since you said that, let's go ahead and replace the camera. I was just kidding. Here. All right, let's go ahead and see what happens if you turn on the camera. It's probably going to fail, right? Error. See, now it says power off. Hold down the power button. 
All right. All right, so we're not going to be able to use the camera until we replace that cable and the, you know, attached to the camera. So let's go ahead and put everything together, actually. Nevin, go ahead and put everything back together and see if this thing works. Uh, right, I, I could order the camera cable and back. the camera if you want. No, they're, they're, they're buttons. You have to push them in right here and here on each side. So you have to hold it up. Like that. And you can hold it like that. Make sure it's in the center of the mat. You want to glue this? No. Let's put this on. No, Brad. Just slide it on. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't. It literally doesn't do anything. I know. We're, I'm gonna glue it. I'm gonna do that. Plug it in now, and let's go ahead and we got the charging light right here on. Let's see if we get the power light. We do, and I think it takes a couple seconds for it to turn on. There it goes. All right, cool. Now, Devin, do you have a game that we could test it with? No. This game is a 3DS game with. Uh, 208 in one cartridge and it has a little micro SD card right here So let's go ahead and plug that in The right way And see if this works Looks like the Wi-Fi is on it did update how come i uh, can't find the icon to turn on the game mm. yeah it's not detecting the cartridge so let me spray it and see let's go ahead and unplug this power it off In. You do it a few times. <laughs> Let's try it again. There we go. Got it. It's working. Let's see if the other game works. It's just dirty. Yeah, it works. So we cleaned, um, we fixed the cartridge reading port. And then we also fixed, um, well, we didn't fix the camera, but we, you know, got the 3DS to turn on and work by unplugging the camera. Oh, look, look at all these uh, Pokemon games. Nice. Let's see if they work.
Oh yeah, the game works. Look at that. That's cool. I'll unplug this. I don't need that. So guys, yeah, so if you have a 3DS XL that is a 2010 that has an issue not turning on, if you plug in the power, it could be possibly that camera cable connection, unplug it, try to boot it back up and see if it works. It also is a cartridge issue. Just see if you could spray some electronic spray in there, put the cartridge in there a few times, blow out all the debris and make sure it's dry before you turn it back on and see if that fixes the no cartridge reading error. So anyway, you learn anything, Devin? Nope. Did you learn anything at all? Uh, no. Why not? Because I already know how to do that. Then why'd you need my help? With what? Plugging in cables. Guys, if you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that has a 3DS XL, that might find this video useful, go ahead and click on the share button below, share this video to them, and subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos.